Ah, hey, it's Ray here. And as you know, I love any kind of video or YouTube based application that's really going to help my business to be able to grow, to get my message out there, and of course, to drive more sales. Well, today we've got something that does just that. This really is a killer deal. Okay, so here we are inside of Video Styler, and with Video Styler, you're going to get two basic things here. One is this membership area, which has trainings and the welcome, as well as links to the mastermind training that they're going to be doing, etc. And then the other is the actual software, which is over here, and that you're going to access by coming to the Video Styler software right here. And down here, there's going to be a button that says to either sign in or register. So you click on this, you register an account, and then once you do that, you can go directly into the software to be able to uh, create your different backgrounds and video templates, okay? So in here, starting off, you've got your welcome, you've got your overview. Again, you've got your software here. Now, this is where you're going to get all of the trainings on how to do things. So showing controls, okay? That's going to give you all the information you need about that. Down here, you've got how to load templates onto video. So once you create your template, how do you put it on your video? Well, this is going to show you exactly how to do that. And they actually use a free third-party software that's really, really cool that allows you to put the templates onto the existing videos once you design your templates. Okay, so if you don't know how to do that manually, this is going to do that all for you, all right inside of there. Now, you can also do things like add captions, and they're going to show you exactly how you can do that. So if you want to put captions onto your videos, you can do that. Down here, how to adjust the templates. This is going to show you how to make the minor adjustments. Like, for instance, in this one here, you can see that this window with the video in it is small and over to the left, and then there's blank space over to the right. Well, what if your video has your person on the right and now they're covered by the graphic? This is going to show you how to make all those adjustments so that you fit in where you want to inside the template itself. Okay? Uh, down here, how to do thumbnails. So again, you're going to use the software, you're going to create YouTube thumbnails, and this is going to show you how to upload your thumbnail to YouTube, which I'm sure most of you know how to do, but it is here if you don't know how to do that. The next thing they have is all about Zoom and how to do Zoom templates. Now, this is going to give you that CNN style side by side, which is really cool. Everybody loves that stuff. Um, and they mentioned this is for Zoom. This would work just as well with if you're doing an interview on Skype. This would work just as well if you're using uh, Mimo Live like I use, if you wanted to use this as one of the templates. So all of these things would work really well for you. Um, so it's not just Zoom, even though Zoom is kind of the example here because, well, quite frankly, over 300 million people now use Zoom, which is absolutely incredible. And a lot of people are doing their interviews through there. So you do Zoom, put this nice graphic on it, and you've got a beautiful video on there. So let's take a look at the actual software so you kind of get a better idea. So I'm going to come out here, and what this has is a ton of ready-made templates. Now you can come here and you can create a template from scratch, but quite honestly, they've got such great templates in here. Most of you are probably gonna do this and it's gonna be quicker and easier for me to show you how this works by coming in here. So the first one they have are the video wrappers. Now these are awesome. This is a lot of fun. This is something that you can do to put onto Facebook so that you're not just putting a video, but maybe you've got some information, etc. And you can see some of these 
templates that they have here. So like this here, I mean, it's kind of neat. You know, you got this guy here, you got a message up here, and then you would have your video in here, and then that would be posted up onto Facebook or Instagram or you know, your own website. But uh, mostly Facebook, I think, is where most people are going to get the most out of this. And down here, you've got some TikTok-specific ones. Okay, and just a ton of these templates, and the way these work are very, very simple. So let's um, you know, let's choose one of these graphics here. Um, uh, let's say this one right here. We're just going to open that one up. Okay, and so when we open this one up here, you'll see this is the actual template. Okay, and so what you're going to do is you're going to click on your text here. And if you want to change this, right now it says sprinkle in your unique differences. So maybe what we're going to say is watch this video uh, to learn more. What you're going to learn more about, I have no idea, but you get the idea that this is what we're going to have. And of course, you can center all this stuff and set it up the way you want, make it look the way you want it to look. Okay. And so there, that's pretty much all you really have to do with this. Um, zoom in there just so you can see it. Now, you can come in here and you can make other adjustments. So, for instance, let's say uh, watch this, which I spelled watch wrong. The good thing is when you spell things wrong, it's very easy to make a change. <laughs> okay. Now, let's say we want this bottom line to be a different color. Well, we can come down here and we can change that color to something uh, maybe a slightly gray. Okay. Just to give it a little bit of a change there. Now, you can go, of course, extreme. You can choose any color you want. In fact, you know what? In fact, I'm going to leave it like that. I kind of like that color right there. Uh, some other things that you can do with this is you can do bolds, you can do italics, you can do underlines, left, right, center, like you would with almost anything. And, you know, maybe to learn more, we're going to choose a different font to make it look a little different. Um, let's see what we got here. I don't know if we got anything fun we want to do with this. Mm. Let's go with this one here. Okay. And so now we've got this, and we can put this in here. And that just gives it a little bit of a styling change there. And again, you can make any of these changes that you want. Now, there are other things that you can do in here besides just change the text that's already there. You can actually add different things. Like I just, that was accidental, but you can add extra text in there because I already had the text tool check marked over here. Had the text tool turned on, so I, when I clicked it, it made it for me. But you can add other text things by coming in here. You can add shapes. Okay, so if we want to put a bubble in there, we can do that just by coming up here, making a little bubble. Okay, and you know, maybe you want to, I don't know, we'll put it here for now. And then if you wanted to put text in the bubble, you come back to the text tool, you type in here, and you can, well, actually, we'll type outside of this and say, oh, I don't know what we want to do. We'll say, um, thanks. Oh, I've got caps lock on. Thanks for watching. Okay. And so now we can take that and we can move that over here. Now, obviously, we don't want that to be the same color as the bubble, and we also don't want it to be that big. So we can come in here and we can change that text size. Okay. We can change that color probably to a black for this. And now if we take that and bring that over here, you can see it's going to go on top of there. So we want to make it say thanks for watching. So we're going to put this on a separate line. We're going to center that just like so. And so now we've got, we can resize this if we need to. Thanks for watching inside a bubble. Okay, so it's very easy to make these changes and add these graphics. Now you can do other things too. You can draw on here. So if you needed to, you could, you know, draw lines on there. You can draw straight lines like so. Okay. Very easy to make these different types of changes in here. Um, and of course, if you want to get rid of any of these, you can always get rid of anything that you've created as well. Um, you've also got the option to rotate things. Okay. So we can, whoop. <laughs> as you can see, it's going to rotate these things out. And it zooms in and out there to show you the rotation, which is kind of cool. I like the way that they do that. Okay. And you can always get precise and go back to zero. You can also use these 30s. Okay, and that's going to allow you to create some really cool stuff. Now, right here, you can also mirror things if you really wanted to do that. So you could flip them X and Y. Okay, all this stuff can be done here. You can also crop things if you need to crop. You can crop two different sizes. So if we wanted to crop to 4.3, we could do that, and you'll see what it looks like right there. So if you want to make a 4.3 video, you can do that. If you want to make a square video, you can do that. If you want to make 
custom size, you can change the custom size. You can do three, two, you can, and then you can go back to 16 by nine, which is the norm. You can cancel that out there. And once you're done creating all of this, now this is uh, not the prettiest in the world. In fact, we're gonna get rid of these ugly lines by clicking on them and deleting them. In fact, we're gonna get, get rid of this too because we don't like that. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. So there, we now have our template. And so all we have to do is download this and you'll see it's gonna download as a PNG. And so now we're done. So now we can use the training that we get over here, okay, on how to use the templates. You watch that training uh, which is how to load the templates on video, okay? You're gonna follow that, it's gonna take you to another software that's gonna have you upload your video, upload your graphic, and put it together into one file. Uh, and it's very, very easy to do, okay? But we also have more than just wrappers in here, and like, so we've got a lot of wrappers. Let's go back here, if we can. Okay, so you can see just a ton of those wrappers that are in here that you can use and some really, really nice ones too. And all the TikTok ones like we showed you. I mean, look at, this one's really cool. I love this one. Um, this one I like. So there's a lot of these that I really can really get behind. Uh, I like this one here too, okay? So get in there and start using some of those. Now, you also have Facebook cover templates, okay? So you can see those here. And again, they work just the same. So you can choose a template and then you go in and you make your changes. So if we wanted to use uh, this one here, just like with the other one, you come in here and you can make your changes. 10 ways to be happy. Oh, well, guess what? There are now only nine ways to be happy. Sorry, only nine. Okay, but you can come in here and you can make any of those changes that you want inside of here to make this look the way that you want it to look. Okay, you've got your video thumbnails. Now, for those of you who don't use a thumbnail software already, these are actually pretty good. So you can come in here and you can choose one of these templates and you can make your changes to them. Okay. And they're very, very simplistic. They're not, um, as far as the, the way you edit them, they, you just go in there and you edit them very, very quickly. Now the next one, and this is really the cool thing for a lot of people, these are the Zoom templates. Now, as you know, 300 million plus, because I mentioned it earlier, are using Zoom right now. And this is gonna give you that CNN style, one person on the left, one person on the right, okay? So you can come in here and you can look at any of these templates here and you can use them for your uh, Zoom or even Skype um, and, and really anything if you got two videos. Like I've done stuff where I use double take on my uh, iPhone where I literally put the phone between myself and another person and the front camera shoots them, the back camera shoots me. I've got two video streams and then I can bring this into a video editor, put one of the streams on one side, one on the other, and boom, we've got a nice little video. Okay, so these work out. Like this one here is really nice. I like this one. Okay, so now you can come in here and you can change this around. So digital launch insider uh, review instead of stories. So very simple. And again, you just download them and then you use them inside your Zoom. Now there's some other things in here as well. You've got some YouTube banners that are in here that you can work with. You've got LinkedIn that you can work with. Uh, single video banners, which these are kind of nice. You can use these for some of the stuff that you're doing. And they even have some book templates in here too. So if you're going to do giveaways, you got the option to do a nice book give a uh, book template inside of there. And then down here, you just got your featured um, templates in there as well. So again, for me, the big thing is the wrappers, the thumbnails, and the Zoom templates. Those are the things that I think really, really make this. So if you wanna be able to enhance your videos and do it with a killer app that's gonna allow you to do that, well, this is the one that you can use to do all of that stuff. So it's a very nice little program, and I think you're gonna get a lot of mileage out of this. And of course, you can use this with your clients, especially the clients using Zoom, because there are, I know a ton of people that are getting paid to help clients do Zoom meetings, and this can help take that to a whole new level. So be sure to check this out. Video Styler, very good little program. Have a lot of fun with it. And uh, if you got any questions, of course, let me know. Well, there you go, that's Video Styler. As you can see, this really is a killer app. I mean, one that's gonna allow you to do some really neat things with your videos. Add those nice banners, make some thumbnails, and a whole lot more. And if you're ready to do that, well then all you have to do is click the link down below this video 
and then scroll down the page and you'll see all the great bonuses that we have down at the bottom of the page. If you have any questions, of course, reach out. I'll be glad to answer them for you. And we'll see you next time.